Hi everyone, Emma here. I'm so excited to show you. So I mentioned that I got some interesting stuff from AliExpress and this is the interesting stuff. So this is the um, stretch cord that's more like a floss. Let me fix the camera here. So it's more like a floss. So you can kind of see it here. And let me get my other light here. So I hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing really good. So thank you so much everyone for asking. Um, I went for a bike ride this morning and did really well. Did a full hour and a half out. So you can see this is flat compared to the stretch cord that's round. And it's composed of a bunch of different fibers and the idea with this too is one it'll go into smaller holes and two uh, normally you use it two strands so you thread it and you bring both um, pieces through everything so you have two strands to tie off your bracelet so if one strand breaks then you won't lose your bracelet so it's really good and I use a collapsible needle so these are those needles you can get these on AliExpress you can get them at any beading store as well um, I did find a seller on AliExpress that had these for a reasonable price and um, they're super slim so some of these are really thick and you can't use them on a lot of stuff. So this one here is really thin. So I was using these for a while for bead weaving, but I found that what was happening is these tips are really sharp and I was getting stuck a lot. And then, you know, I saw some videos from Jill Wiseman and started thinking maybe I should look into some better needles and, and of course got a whole bunch of needles. So, what I thought, I wanted to do something really exciting. So, first of all, I will post the link to the seller for the, the uh, stretch cord. The stretch cord, it comes like this, and it's 60 meters for $2 Canadian and free shipping. So, I think that's a pretty good deal. And they had more colors than this. I just figured I'd get the colors that I thought I would probably use. So today we're going to use gold. Actually, we'll use gold and pink. Ha <laughs> ha. Will we? I had to think about that. I don't think I need pink because this is going to be attached to a piece of chain. So I, I don't particularly. We'll put it aside in case we change mind so um the so i wanted to do a really cool different style stretch bracelet so the idea i had was to do a few pearls on say the back of the bracelet and at the front attach a piece of chain and then on the chain dangle some charms so these are the ones, we're going to do two of them. These are the ones I thought we'd do. So we do a pink with a Hello Kitty charm and a little birdie. And they all have pink in them, so it really looks nice, this beautiful flower. And the breast cancer awareness uh, ribbon. And oh, don't forget our Swarovskis, so Swarovski heart. And I have two different types of bales for this. Um, I would say I need your help to pick, but we got to finish the video. <laughs> so I guess I have to do it. You guys make me do everything. So we have two types of chain. I felt like this chain was nice and chunky and would go really cool with these gold uh, pearls and these are 10 millimeter pearls and then up here is what we would put on this one this char uh, charm it's really a pendant it's so big 
but I just love it. There's something about it that just really is exciting now. They are a little bit kind of scuffed up a bit, but they're super cheap, so. And you can put them both ways. Then these are beautiful hearts I got from Rose DIY. And uh, yeah, these, I, you know, I think I ordered 10 of these and I maybe have this one and another one left. So I use these a lot. They're beautiful. They're really well done. And then we have these crystals. Let me enlarge this a bit. The crystal, it looks like a sunflower. And that's what it looks like on the back. This is a really lovely one too. And then a koi fish for good luck. And then, of course, a Swarovski heart that's topaz, but we'll pretend that it's gold. So for this one here, the pink one, I feel like this chunky chain won't really suit. Let me, as you can see, I'm sure if I put it on, it would look fine. But I decided to pull out this chain that I have that's really nice. Yeah, I think that looks nicer with it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have some some bead caps for the pearls. And for these gold pearls, I am going to do some daisy spacers with a 11-0 gold seed bead in between to really kind of make it pop. So let's get started and test out this stretch cord yeah, I think I can go this way so you're supposed to pre-stretch your cord because if you don't sometimes after stretching it doesn't quite go back to the um, the size that you want so your bracelet will be loose. Now I am doing, so definitely the pink is going to be mine. So that's going to be Barbie size. We'll do that one next. But we'll start with the big chunky one and I'd like to get it seven and a half. And um, let me get my mandrel just to be safe here. So I'm going to measure out. I use a lot, a lot more stretch cord than you really need and actually that was pretty close so it's a good thing I checked the mandrel so I think I'm going to go even longer than that so there's my end there let's let's go even longer because um yeah we don't want to end up too short that to the side, and I'm just going to tilt this towards my hands a bit. Okay, so let's get this on the needle. And we're going to put it at the midpoint, so bring your two ends together again and just bring this down to the midpoint. Actually, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can do it this way. So maybe put a bead stopper here. I think we'll do it this way, and I'll tell you why. Because I would like two strands attached together. If the other option you can do this is you can thread, um, you can put your because we're going to attach a piece of chain and then we're going to put our strands you can just loop this on here but then you only have one strand going around your chain so there's kind of no point having two strands because if one breaks the whole thing breaks so this way we're going to do we're going to put a knot on with two strands on each side of the chain. So now I did 
like a basic measurement and what I got was 12 pearls. These are 10 millimeter pearls. I, I will double check that with the um, for the seven and a half inch bracelet. For, for mine it was 12. But you can always adjust your your um, chain as well and put more chain. So I'm going to get rid of some wonky beads like this. It's interesting. I just got another shipment from um, Shipwreck Beads with their 40% uh, off sale. And I ordered a bunch of pearls. <laughs> now when I look at my pearls that I got from Butterfly Beads, which I thought were, you know, super for the price, I'm like, these are pretty junky compared to the others. <laughs> okay, we got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay. So let me just put some of these aside. I'm going to throw that out so it doesn't get used. Okay. So let's start stringing these on. Because what we can do if, if we, you know, change our mind, we can um, always move things from one side to the other. So we're going to use one of these daisy spacers. A pearl, a daisy spacer, and let's get some seed beads. So I'm just using 11 0 gold. I don't even know what these are. These may have been from an order that I placed like two years ago. They, they're quality, but for this application. So that's pretty good. So another daisy spacer. And a pearl. That one is a bit tarnished. So I ordered these <laughs> daisy spacers a while ago. I am noticing like one or two here and there are... Um, tarnished. So let's see what we have. Oh, this is really pretty. That's going to look nice. I'm going to tilt this a little more to see what I'm doing here. Okay. So yeah, I had, had some energy today, so that was really nice. But after the bike ride, I was like, okay, I realize what they're talking about when they tell you that after radiation, you're going to be exhausted. But I was glad that I, oh, I need a daisy spacer. I was glad that I got out there. You know, you sit on the couch long enough, you start to get little crazy I was getting like annoyed and I don't want to do I don't want to be annoyed with Jennifer when she's taking care of me <laughs> that's not a good plan is it <laughs> I am so excited to show everyone the new unboxing from Shipwreck. So big news about that is I had got Diane to help me in ordering stuff in my last shipment and it got sent to her house and then she sent it to me. One that meant it was free shipping and two I wouldn't pay um, you know, different charges at the post office to pick up my package. And, um, but unfortunately she paid cause they're heavy. She paid a lot of money in shipping. 
So I went and took a look at their site and they actually have, and I've mentioned this before. Okay, so this, for my size, this would be about right where you'd want the pearls and then the chain to start. You might want your pearls to go a little more around your wrist on each side so that you get a glimpse of the pearls too. So yeah, they they now have a um, an offer for Canadians that when you place your order to compensate you for that free shipping that the Americans get, they offer you 5% off your total um, order. So uh, it didn't quite cover the whole um, shipping. The shipping, and, and they have a shipping that you can, um, it's basically the cheapest shipping, but it automatically puts $10 in your cart and then um, once they have it all packaged and they know how much it weighs then they give you the the correct value so mine went from $10 to 18 which wasn't bad and then I got $10 off so you know that's a pretty good deal so <laughs> this looks lovely I can't believe it's okay like do you believe it it's a stretch bracelet and you know what if you're not into stretch bla bracelets you could put this on wire and it would look lovely so let me um yeah so for me you can see it's coming around the sides but again I have super small wrist we're going to test it on the mandrel and see where it comes on the mandrel Because uh, seven and a half inch, I think, I think we'll have to add at least two pearls. Yeah, so I think you would probably want it to about here. So um, right about here. So that's one pearl. It looks like three pearls. I think four might shorten your chain too much so let's test out we'll start with two and then we'll add if we think it needs more oh, two beads there and a daisy spacer and you can use whatever stuff you have now that one's tarnished I thought I had some other nice gold uh, bead caps, small bead caps. I probably de-stashed them. That is the worst part about de-stashing. It's like in my head, I still have those things. So I went through all my stuff looking and like, I know I have some of these. Then I was like, oh, wait a minute. I think you gave them away. Silly girl. Okay, there, I just added two. So let's test that on the mandrel again. There's my seven and a half. That's still kind of low. I think we can add one more each. So it's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. That's, that's the amount that I counted for my wrist so I'll have to maybe do 10 for mine that one's tarnished I think I'm getting all out of order I'm getting so excited I can't wait to the next part this looks lovely but the next part's even more exciting you know I, I think I did this wrong <laughs> It just occurred to me because I want to put the two strands around the chain and then come back through on the one side. So maybe I didn't need both strands there. I'm so confused. 
Oh, I didn't put my daisy spacer. We'll figure it out. I just don't want a big knot on the chain. But we may end up doing that anyway. So a daisy spacer. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. No, I need one more. I thought I missed <laughs> you like the way I count. What? Okay. Last one. Yeah, I'm going to put that one aside. It's got a little scratch in it. I'm sure they'll be scratched up before too long, but... And, yeah, okay. So there is... Let's get a daisy spacer here. Let's put a bead. Um, because that bead is so small, a knot wouldn't fit in there. Let me enlarge this. So because that is so small, a knot won't fit in there if I get any, like if I double this up backwards like this. Let me see if this is going to all fit. See if I can do four strands. It would just, just make it. Let me see. So, let's measure this with the mandrel. Okay, so we are right there. So we're about here. Mark that. There. To there. Let's go one more. So that's open this one here. Get my tool. So just open your link. These get scuffed up easily. This is a really inexpensive chain. So I I've been hanging on to these in case I want to use them for something. Usually when I do destashing, that's when I clean up that stuff, but for now we'll keep it. We'll keep it. So this is gonna look amazing together. I think we should put the the um charms on first. So I'm going to look at these to make sure that they're closed all the way. That I think could go a little little more. Seems like there's a slight little there that did it and do the same to the other side. And that's so your stretch cord doesn't pass through there. You know what, I think I need to do this first. So let's go through the link, the last link of the chain, come around, and then see if we can get this all the way through the rest. Let me move this here, as you can see. Let's see. 
I'm going to try and do this without poking the um, stretch cord because that'll just compromise it. Yes, I'm going to go through a couple and see if I can get this. So it seems to be going in pretty good. So. And when you're pulling this through, these things are really sharp, the needle at the edge. So you might want to hang on to the actual stretch cord rather than the needle to pull it through. <coughs> I think this needs to come a little more. I'm pulling them, yeah, the other way and then hang on to that and pull it through. Because this is what's happening, but I don't want that. I want these to be closer to the end because I'm not going to have enough cord left. So let's see if we can do this in a better way. Bring that there. Each side is our stretch. There, that worked. There. Oh, it still did it. That's weird. <clears throat> I guess it's drawing the beads towards it. So let me see if I can do it this way. Is it that one? It is, okay. I don't get why it's doing that, but let's see if I hold my hand there, bring it around. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting frustrated. Can you see that? There we go. That's a little better. Then that gives me enough to go through these guys. So hopefully we can get through them. But that'll make this super strong. And you can see already. Like, if you see the stretch cord, it's gold, so you really don't notice it. Somebody will be wondering how your your beads are, are threaded. It's pretty cool. And you can use your just to get it through the beads oh see what I was saying about the okay so that technique is not going to work so it broke it okay well we keep going here um, you know what we could tie a knot here and actually now I'm going to loosen it and put it back down maybe there is a reason it wanted to go down because now i want more more on this end so i can tie it and so we can put the knot here and it shouldn't go past these two. So let's see what we've got on this end here. There. Okay, yeah, so let's put the knot here. I think what I'm going to do is just do a knot like this because it's going to create a bigger knot. I could take these two and tie them in a knot, but that wouldn't really do anything. So let's do something like this. And Bring it down as close as 
possible. Hold on to that piece there. And if I'm not, I'm going to make it a little bigger. That doesn't look like it's going to, like it definitely won't go through here, but I think we need to do that a little bigger. And we'll try and get it into the same spot. And we did. So now we have a nice big knot. It will fit inside the pearl, but it won't go through the rest. So let's cut this. Which one? And push everything down, and that should tighten this end here. There. That is a little big. Let me see what we can do here. So we can tuck that in. really not uh, I'm gonna let's take this out so we want to make sure that this is concealed so I guess I should have left the one there. Clip that. Okay. Now, there. That's better. You won't see that. There. It's in the bead, and we can always put some glue in there. But let me get the this piece back. So we're going to get this to shorten again. Oh, it, you know what happened? It came off the, uh, the chain. Okay, let me fix that. So we're pulling too hard and the chain was open just enough. So let's open that or close that or actually open it so we can loop it onto here. I'm hoping the next one's going to go easier. I've never done this before, so I'm just kind of winging it. And 
I know there's videos out there of really polished tutorials. This is not really a tutorial. It's more of I get some crazy ideas. And I want to show you guys. And I... As, as much as I don't feel tired enough where I can... Oh, I hate that that's scuffed up. Um, to do a um, bike ride, I, I do find that the uh, let me see if I can get this to go where it's supposed to go. This uh, stretch cord's pretty good. You see how much I'm stretching on it? And for some reason, it doesn't want to. It doesn't want to come around. So that's that one there. So let's put that there. Hold that and see if this will pull it through. There, it's pulling it through. There, that's... It was that simple move that I wanted to do. And it wouldn't do it. Okay. Well, if you're still here with me, we're almost there. This one we're going to hook on, and I guess there'll be a knot here. I'm trying to think. Oh, we need a seed bead, first of all. Put that on. if I can get this on here. There. Nope. Okay, so I want to put it through the last link of the chain. I think I'm going to try and thread this and get it to go at least through one bead. So. <laughs> Cross your fingers. Now I can't. So I, I, I guess what I was getting at earlier is when I'm tired, I find it really hard to do videos. Like I find I make a lot of mistakes. But I'm kind of having fun doing it. So I hope you guys don't mind just hanging out with me. Um, yeah. This is going to be funky, but let's try it. We're just going to go through. I think we just... Yeah, I think we better just go through one. We don't have enough cord to do any more than that. It doesn't want to go through that seed bead because now we've got six strands going through that seed bead. And it did the same thing. Darn it. Okay, we 
got to come up with another plan. Look, it snapped it. So those needles are crap for putting this on and then just double checking. So what I should have done in the first place is just dot, did a knot here. Put it through chain and get a knot in here like that and we're going to double it put another knot hopefully we won't see it if we do we'll put a, a bead cap over it And you can put a dab of glue on that as well. So I'll leave a tiny tail. Okay. So let's test this on the mandrel. It looks a bit big. Yeah, it's in the 8 range. So what we can do is take a few links off. So we'll take it off of the side. So let's go to this one. And then we'll open up. We're going to take two links off, but rather than take that second one off, we're going to open this to take it off because we need that one open anyways to relink it. It's my new word. Okay, back on. Let's see. Let's see Seven and a half. Ta da! There we go. That looks really pretty. Okay, let's get our charms on. Enough messing around. Okay. So, I had these in an order because I kind of like the way they sit together. So, we'll try to do that. And the thing is, it doesn't matter if they kind of overlap each other. So, something like that. So, we need a pinch bail for that. And I have two types. So I have these and I have these. I think for this one, the leaf one looks a little more substantial. So I think that one would work. And these are great. You just, I might have to open this one up a bit. Because you don't want to scratch here. So I just put my pliers in there and then open it a bit. That was a lot. but <laughs> And then you could probably pinch it with your hands. Like that. Oh yeah, that's the right one for that. That's pretty. Okay, so we need some jump rings. And I got some 12 inch old jump rings. So we need one, two, three, four, five. So I think, let's figure out where the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
so it won't be exactly in the middle, but we'll that. And we'll put this on here. Oh, that's overlapping. This one. These must be inexpensive jump rings. Because my good jump rings don't do that. You know what? That must have been a, a wonky one. See how thin it is compared to the others? So it might have got put in there by accident. So let's, let's replace that. I thought it was weird. Look at that, how easy it came off. This is garbage. I thought these were my, these are 18 gauge, they're thicker and they just hold up a lot better. So let's open that up. Got one, two, three, four, five. Put it on the fifth link. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> Let me, uh, there, look at what. I'm going to reduce this a bit because you're missing, you're missing the fun, the magic. Come join me in the magic. So I know I've been bouncing all over the place talking about stuff. I... So I got a order from Shipwreck Beads and I'm going to do an unboxing right after this video because their sale ends at the end of the month and their sale is 40% off. So I want to give you a heads up on... So I'm kind of separating these by two links. The other heart. I have, I have a confession to make. I have another order from Shipwreck. Because once I found that, you know, discount for the shipping, I thought, you know what, it's worth a try. And for my Canadian subscribers, just to let you know, my package showed up in my mailbox. I didn't have to go to the mail post office for it, and I didn't have to pay any duty on it. So I don't know how they did that, but now we'll see what happens on the next order. This is looking amazing. Wow, this is turning out nicer than I even imagined. Okay, then this lovely crystal heart. So I, I think we'll put that one here. So I don't know. I didn't count very well. Give some space to the face. And the last one. it here okay let's see what we got oh this turned out nice so again if you don't want to do stretch you can you know put wire on here but I think that looks amazing because this the stretch cord is gold. You don't really see it. 
and look at how amazing this is and you know like it's so easy to put on that's the part that I like about the stretch oh this is amazing now I've got that upside down but let me see here oh it all came off <laughs> I'm gonna rethread this <laughs> off camera and I think I'll do the next one another time. <laughs>